Okay, and here's the Battle Against Teal the Wanderer. Uh, again, I don't have a low-level pet. I'm using my idol and two flyers. Uh, he has three abilities, Tidal Wave, Pump, and Shell Shield. Pump, of course, is a big hit. Shell Shield drops the damage it takes. And Tidal Wave, of course, sends a big wa wave of water that actually hits everybody, including the back row. I'm just going to sit there and peck at him for a bit. While I have my flying ratio up, he's fairly slow. Um, it's a nice part about flyers. Of course, you get the extra 50% extra speed while above half health. Um, there's his pump, as you can see. It first, he gets it ready, and then it hits for a lot. Um, he gets a really big hit on me there. Even when I lose my ratio, I'm still faster than him, which is kind of nice. And this tidal wave should end up taking out my crested owl. Oh, I dodged it. Nice. Okay. There we go. Again, I'm only going to need to get him down to about a total of about 1100 when I hit him with my Predatory Strike from my Crested Owl, if it even lasts that long. It really depends on how much damage the idol does to him. First round, we're just going to check out a quick Sandstorm. It's going to have the unfortunate effect of also reducing the damage he takes more than just what his Shell Shield does. I uh, miss on my deflect. I was kind of hoping he'd do his pump there. But I can deal with that. I'm just going to get a quick crush or two here. Basically just using his tidal weight to wear me down to the point that his pump will actually take me out. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference because I've already got him into range where my Predatory Strike should end up taking him out in one round once he kills off my idol. There we go. Takes out my idol. Bring out the Brilliant Kalari. Again, the value of Predatory Strike. Quick hit. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it brings him to below 25% health, and he is dead, and that is Tian the Wanderer.